we've thought about processes for a long time and our major innovation in the past 80 years has been turning things 90 degrees sideways and, and digitizing them. So everything that's new is either not new or wrong, maybe an extreme view on this, but the advances that we have made in understanding how businesses work have been incremental. So let's look at this from a perspective of uh, transformation. So this is, a, this is a timeline starting in around the mid-1970s, uh, ranging up until today. What kind of technologies uh, we've encountered to help us automate work, route work through the office, uh, automate decisions. So we start with the first office automation systems coming out of uh, University of Pennsylvania back in 1978. We've got commercial workflow systems in the mid-1980s. We moved to business process management suites and business rule engines that entered in the late 90s, early 2000s. And now we talk about decision management systems, cognitive computing, robotic process automation, you name it. So there's certainly no shortage of technology there. And every technology vendor that wants to sell you something new has to explain to you why it is so much better than the stuff that was there before, because the stuff that was there before certainly doesn't work. And we do that generally by changing the labels, right? So workflow systems, that was so 1980s. We don't do workflow anymore. We do business process management systems now. But business process management systems, we did that in the early 2000s. We don't do that anymore. Now we do business process suites, right? Not, not systems anymore. Now we talk about decision automation. So even though the content may only change gradually, the labels change more radically. 